Hello, wonderful people of places. My name is Light to Death, and this is my silly YouTube channel. So after I met the aliens and rode the spaceship and traveled time, I met this really cool boy with a blue uh, hoodie, and he was really cool. And he's actually shut up, Malik. Shut up, Malik. Uh, he's uh, this is a character as always. Uh, he's <laughs> he's uh, he's he's making a lot of funny faces and joking behind the camera. Anyways, uh, we're we're just experiencing everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take as a fuchsia sign just to see what we get the the Homestuck Extended Zodiac quiz because this Homestuck stuff is apparently your is this really a true story, Malik? Okay, shit. All right, let's do this thing. All right. Um. So this means your true. Okay. So like Homestuck is this web web comic about the real troll world. Great. Um, so you selected fuchsia sign class. That means your true sign is one of the signs below. To find out, continue taking the test. Fuchsia signs are energetic and imagine. Who's that guy in green? I'm oh, sorry, sorry. I'm I'm on a beach with my with my 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 my. No 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 no! Don't do that with someone. <laughs> you took me to this weird beach. Like I don't want to talk about it. Um, Anyways, uh, he's making... Okay, I gotta focus on my let's play. Uh, with a distinctive tendency to get in their heads. Deeply sensitive, they swing between bursts of wild creativity and deep depression. Oh, it's me. Holding themselves to high standards, you will learn more about what it means to be a fuchsia sign when you find see the final result. And then we'll also take Malak. Can I take yours? We'll do Malak after this. His blood color. Now, you will need to determine your lunar your lunar sway. The test tells you whether you're a prospect or durst dreamer. Either one says something about your perspective on life and the world and those around you. Finding out your lunar sway is one of the critical pieces of information you need to decide your true sign. For each question below, choose the answer that mostly... Oh, shit. I just realized my fan is on, and you guys could hear all of that uh, on your perspective. Reminder, this is an act up here. Some people on the internet, you know, are negatively discussing something you hold dear. You just let it slide, or you could get in there and defend it with your life. Uh, let's see. Leave it alone. Stay out of it. Chime in my opinion. Jump in and defend the thing. That is me. I will die on a hill for the things I like. Uh, I will defend the thing stating why I like it. Uh, number two, you are all set to cook dinner when you realize you are missing a couple key ingredients. I'm reading it all. I'm just not reading it all to you because you can see it on screen. Uh, missing a couple key ingredients from the recipe you're using. What do you do? Uh, toss out the recipe and wing it is a good idea, but it's not what I do. I usually follow the recipe but make a couple substitutes. How would you feel meeting online friends in person for the first time? Uh, a bit nervous. I usually am excited, but I'm also nervous at the same time. You're having a hard time grasping a topic in class that everyone else seems to be fine with. You uh, lean over and ask a friend, and they'd probably be happy to help you. And if that doesn't work, then I'd raise my hand. Uh, you start taking lessons to learn something you've wanted for a while. A language class, art class, bartending lessons, etc. But decide a few weeks in that it definitely isn't your thing. You decide to stick out though. Why? You never know. It might grow on you. When you're on holiday, do you prefer to leave your... Also, I'm a speed reader. Shut up, Malik. Uh, your inner eye mostly up to chance. Or do you plan it ahead of time? Um... itinerary not literary having things left open is fun but for the most part i like to plan it uh no i like to just do it uh no planning it's a holiday who wants a schedule a friend of yours and someone you know are caught up in a heated argument they asked you to help facilitate you want to support your friend but after hearing both sides you actually agree with the stranger how do you choose to support uh you highlight anything about your friend's side that you do agree with and tactfully mention the rest uh, you may have an important message to write over email or some other text communication method. It's a sensitive matter, difficult to compose, possibly of an emotional or confrontational nature. When you're done writing, you're about to hit the send button. What next? You click it immediately. Let's submit it. Prospit. It's always prospit when I take these tests. Prospit dreamers are intuitive, flexible, and accepting. They tend to live in the moment and able to adapt to situations as needed. Woo, it's me. They prefer to solve problems with creativity rather than cold logic. You will learn more about what it means to be a prosper dreamer when you see the final results of the test. Now you need to determine your aspect. The rest tells, okay, let's see. Um, think about your life. I know I'm a bard for sure. 
as if it's a story and you're the main protagonist the dream is exchange do you tend to view yourself as a lone hero who goes along the way meets other supporting characters who only have a tangential relation to your personal journey or do you view yourself as just one more hero in an ever shifting ensemble of a protagonist protagonist uh, lone hero all the way but I see myself as a villain and that's not an option when um when you want to help people accomplish something you don't know what they're doing are you inclined to show them how to do it or are you inclined to make them feel motivated and inspired to do it definitely show them when you are learning about a new subject or reading a fascinating story do you feel strong desire to know everything about it and have all your questions answered or are you more compelled and inspired by the feeling of mystery surrounding not knowing everything i absolutely need to know everything i'm obsessive about it when you hear someone explaining something to someone else in a way that's questionable or in a way that makes you suspect they don't fully understand the subject these are really well thought out questions are you more inclined to teach them everything you know about the subject to get the record straight or just cast infamous information without offering much i'll jump right in and set the record straight on everything if you could choose one ability which would it be the ability to travel to any period in history or earth or past or future or the ability to safely travel such as on a nice ship anywhere in the universe instantly definitely time travel if you are working on because i do time travel i have a whole series on my other channel called time travel academy if you are working on a project something you're doing for yourself not for anyone else are you obsessively focused on the end result of the project or enjoying the project no matter how it turns out end result which option best describes more important to you understanding yourself and fully knowing who you are or thinking rationally uh understanding myself um definitely understanding myself what idea is more interesting to you the ability to fully understand your potential as a person or the ability to fully understand all potential consequences of your actions before taking them um potential no actions 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 um oh there's like 12 more okay um which best des better describes your attitude having conviction in certain beliefs or ideas you're attracted to or casting strong doubt on beliefs or ideas you dislike definitely having conviction in the beliefs i like um when uh, no it's di beliefs i dislike because i am very adamantly anti certain things when circumstances are intolerably bad which are you more inclined to do come up with the best alternatives or solutions and work as hard as you can to make those happen instead or don't worry about a better alternative when it comes when you deal as it comes i'm not doing a thing until i have a better solution in place first that is me if you see someone suffering or are more inclined to do whatever you can to help them get better or is it an instinct to relate to their suffering to emphasize with necessity considering how you can help uh i'll do whatever it takes in my power to help them that's all i'm thinking about you do the right thing because it is the right thing to do not because you get a reward for it not because someone offers you a pawn or a boon not because you get recognition or a hero title or get to go down as legendary you do the right thing because it is the right thing to do because no one else will because you have the opportunity to you do the right thing because nobody else will do it and it needs to be done you do the right thing just because it is the right thing to do and that is something i often preach and it's something i hold to my my core as a person Person. you can do the wrong thing and make it look like the right thing and you can do the right thing and make it look like the wrong thing but you do the right thing because it is the right thing to do do not put this quote on goodreads um when someone suffers misfortune so terrible that you know there is nothing anyone can do for them are you most inclined to feel horrible that nothing can be done or feel resigned to sense the world uh i would feel absolutely horrible there's nothing to help this person uh i'm light okay um the light bound possess a keen desire to learn and sympathize synthesize they are ravenous for knowledge and will go to great lengths to gain it although their convictions are strong their morality is dedicatedly gray you learn more about its light bound when you see the final results of the test i think that's incorrect reveal my true sign a sign of the searcher pew i'm gonna pronounce your name pew and you can't stop me it's probably pronounced pew i'm gonna pronounce it pew the true sign is PPU that you possess the unique combination of qualities held by future signs, prosper dreamers, and light bound. Future signs are the final sign classes, fig fidgeted fittingly also the most end magnetic, possessing a strong imagination that they have otherworldly quality to them that draws others in. 
Often it has more to do with what they don't tell you than what they do, giving them an air of mystery that would be more likely perplexed than a future sign. If you told them about it, Alec looks really sad now and upset, and I don't know why. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to finish reading this, and because I already know about Prospect, you can pause the video to see, and then I'm going to check on Malik. Um, they aren't usually trying to be alluring. They're just lost in thought, highly emotional. Fuchsia signs are sensitive and anxious and tend to... Sp okay, I'll read the whole thing, Malik. A, a where he's whispering so you can't hear him because of my mic. Uh, don't ask why I bought a microphone to the beach. Uh, they are artist artistic and talented but can suffer crippling standards. They have rich fantasy lives and can get so caught up in daydreams that they sometimes forget to actually do things. Many fuchsia signs have trouble with follow-through and it can be take a lot to kick them out of their inertia. As far as rumors goes, they need partners who are willing to put in the time in their place who can handle how to sensitive emotionally can be. And light, light is essentially from all this. Um, I'll read light because we're skipping the prospect thing, but here, pause now if you want to read prospect. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The, those bound to the aspect of light are the universe's knowledge seekers. They are above all driven to learn and understand. They are great alchemists, able to take multiple sources of information and synthesize them into something useful. They are scholars and researchers, absolutely dedicated to knowledge or knowledge's sake. They are ultimate students, and although that might conjure up the image of people sitting around peacefully waiting for knowledge to be brought to them, that couldn't be further from the truth. The light bound will often go after knowledge and fierce intensity so that others can conjure it. Oh my god, for fans by fans is back. Or wait, is it still a good smile? Uh, it's a good smile still. This isn't an advertisement. Though I am working on some cool stuff on my Twitter, so I'll link that in the description. Anyways, I'll see you guys. And uh, yeah, Malik looks really sad. And I don't know why.